just got this uh, 12 gauge hammer shotgun. It's imported by Century Arms and it's the JW2000. They come in 12 gauge or 20 gauge. This is a 12 gauge that I got here. So this is how it comes in the box. Got your three main pieces. I haven't put this gun together yet. This, this is how it is. It's covered in oil. So that's it, uh, easy to put together, take apart for cleaning, it's got the, the working hammers, uh, basically that's, that's it, I did have a quick look through the paperwork, and Basically, they're calling it uh, Old West Shotgun. Um, include fully functional rabbit ear hammers and double triggers. And they say it's uh, walnut stained. Now, I don't think it's the wood is walnut, but it is quite closely grained, so it is a hard wood and I guess just stained walnut colour because I have seen a picture of the 20 gauge and that's a very light very light wood I read off some of the technical data um, right, it's chambered, it will take 3 inch cartridges, it's a 20 inch barrel overall length 37.5 inches and the overall weight is 8.1 pounds and it says effective range 54.7 yards well I think it could do better with slugs but maybe that that uh, distance there is just for birdshot or whatever the trigger pull they say is 5 pounds and the choke, they say there's no choke. Well, I've seen other videos on this gun and other people have said it's uh, one barrel's different to the other, one's not choked and one is choked. So, I mean, this clearly says there's no choke and <coughs> I checked the, I checked the barrels and they're both exactly the same so and they're at 18.30 millimeters both of them so th there's no choke in there it's just uh, straight through I also checked the trigger pull with the Lyman trigger pull and they say five pounds well I got an average of 5.1 on the left trigger and 5.14 on the right and I can feel there is a big difference well not a huge difference but I can feel the difference in the right trigger it is stiffer and the left trigger is, is definitely smoother and, and the fit the fit on the left side so on, on the lock plate is it's quite nicely fitted on the on the left side on the right it's not too bad but it's it's raised it's uh, it's acceptable but it's not as good as the left so maybe the right trigger will just wear in 
I don't know. Oh, if it doesn't, I'll just take it apart and polish it or whatever. So the barrel is real stiff to break. It is a brand new gun and it's straight out the box. But 250 bucks. I don't think it's bad. It comes with sling swivels. Uh, quite a thick rubber butt pad there. And it's I'm looking forward to putting a couple of shots through it. it it's not a bad gun. It's I don't know, it's, it's certainly not a, a refined English shotgun by any means, but it's a good sturdy good sturdy gun it feels like. Made in China. Uh, and it's got CAI Georgia, so that's Century Arms International. JW2000 and the serial number. And if that serial number is how many they've churned out, they've churned out, you know, over 23,000. And on this side, it's stamped in read on as manual before use, use ledger only. I hate anything like that stamped in, but there it is. So it's 12 gauge, it's also stamped in 12 gauge, 2 and 3 quarter, or 3 inch chamber. And it's made in the Zong, Zong Ho Machine Works, China, where, you know. But uh, I'll, I'll take some close ups of it and we'll get down the range and put a couple of shots through it. The, the barrels are nice and clean. So, 250 bucks. Not bad. You could you couldn't make one yourself for that, I don't think. Not that good anyway. Okay, well, I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a storm coming. It's, uh, it's not very far off, so I just want to run a couple of rounds through here quick. I'm going to use a couple of Wolf Power Rifle Slugs. Two and three quarter inch, one ounce slugs. So, that should be quite a test for it. <laughs> I guess I should use birdshot or something to first, but let's just go straight in for the slugs. Okay, put both hammers. Not sure if that's safety on or off. Anyway, we'll soon find out. Okay. I'll go for the steel target. Guess that's safety on. Okay, I guess it's push forward on the safety. To remove it, so here goes. Well, that, that hit that pretty good. I'm going to go for that uh, gas tank there. I've not managed to penetrate that yet, but this should do it. Okay. Look, look. Let's get that open. <laughs> well, that's real stiff. 
I don't even know if I can open it. Try again. Hmm, wasn't expecting that. Oh, there we go. It is very, very stiff. Cartridges don't pop out. It just opens up a little so you can grab hold of them. Let's go see what, uh, what that slug did. <laughs> wow, it didn't penetrate but it hit on the, probably the toughest part. It, it's put a massive dent into it. No penetration. These little gas tanks are pretty tough. Um, I shot the other the other week or a few weeks ago. These four with nine mil, and they didn't go through, which surprised me. I'm even more surprised the slug didn't go through. Anyway, you can see where the slug hit the AR500 steel. That uh, put a, quite a smack onto that. Let's see what other ammo I've got. Just a test. I've got the Remington Magnum Buckshot. Three inch length. And it's tra the travelling at a velocity of 1,225 foot per second. 15 pellets, double note buck. So, let's see what that can do. load this thing up. I mean this is literally out the box. I haven't oiled it, I haven't done anything. You just saw what I did. I opened the box up and here we are putting some rounds through it. Okay let's see what the buck does to the AR500. Wow you really feel that one kick. And now we'll hit that gas tank. Knocked it over, that's for sure. Let's see what happens when I try to open it up this time. Yeah, it's opening up all right. Just stiff. Needs a real good clean. Good oiling. But I mean, it handled those loads okay. through the bar there. Anyway, let's go see what happened to that gas tank with the buckshot. Wow, I'm surprised we got penetration on it. There we go, one of them. I probably didn't hit it squarely. But uh, we got one penetrated there, one of the buckshot. Hard to tell what happened to the AR500, it's got so many hits on it. Don't see any other... No. Well there you go, so that's it. I managed to get a couple of shots in before the rain comes. There you go. I noticed it's got those safety hammers on that uh, you can push them but they won't, they're not going to hit the pin, they're not going to hit the firing pin. So it has to be cocked to hit that firing pin so they won't push forward. Also an additional safety there. Forward is in the fire position back is unsafe so kind of used to that sort of safety so that's pretty good you can fire both barrels at the same time haven't done that yet obviously but I will do I'll do a update video on this this is just a real 
quick video out the box and seeing that it works. So, okay, thanks for watching. Yeah, that was just a, a quick video on on this. But uh, if anyone's got any questions, just put them in the comments and I'll answer them if I can. But uh, I will do a, another video after I'll get some rounds through it. But uh, one of the main reasons I got this gun is because I want to mess around with cut shells, wax slugs, making my own lead slugs and stuff like that. Now with a pump shotgun you can only load them one at a time and sometimes you have to shake out the empty shell. But, uh, but going old school I can use both barrels no problem at all. So there's a benefit in going old school. That and I just wanted to get another old hammer shotgun, well a new old style hammer shotgun but uh, there you go catch you later